Hey everyone, it's your girl Shantae and I'm back again with another video on Shantae TV. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I get my room from this to this. If you're interested, keep on watching because I'm going to be sharing some tips on how you can easily clean your room. What you mean, wait to see? Need your love right now like Jodeci. Yeah, I'm causing commotion. I'm not feeling good because I need some more money, more motion. Can't mix up the bag of emotions. Here you know that I know that I'm chosen. So the first thing that I like to do before I even get into cleaning my room is setting a timer for 30 minutes. When I deep clean my room like this, it usually takes me about an hour, but I set a timer for 30 minutes because personally, I work better against the clock. So even though I know I won't finish in 30 minutes, it helps me to speed up. So go ahead, set that timer for at least 30 minutes to an hour. You're already on the right track to cleaning your room the right way. Also, what you're gonna notice in this video is that I have a plan when cleaning my room. Clearly, if you're watching this video, you might not have a plan yet or you just wanted to see how I clean my room, but my plan is working in sections. I like to move around my room. Um, I feel like when you have a plan, it makes cleaning your room so much more easier and I feel like a lot of people don't under understand that. So having a plan is important and my plan is working in sections so you'll see that throughout this video. So the first section that I like to do is my bed. The bed at least in majority of spaces that I've seen is the first thing that you see when you're walking into a room or takes up the most space when you're in someone's room. So cleaning your bed, spreading your bed is the main focus. It's the main focus of a room so that's what I like to do first. See, the way I'm spreading it, I call this the hotel bed spread. I just love a clean, sleek look. I love to tuck in around the edges of the bed. As you can see, a lot of hard work and effort is going into spreading this bed, okay? So when I spread it, I like to sleep on top of it and use the second blanket as my blanket. So when I wake up in the morning, all I have to do is spread that blanket, put it to the side, and then I still have a clean, ready-to-go bed. I'm efficient, guys. I like to cut time. I like to cut down work. So that's that. As you can see, I'm a huge pillow fanatic. I love pillows on the bed. Um, I have this, if you don't like tacos, um, nacho type pillow. <laughs> One of my favorite pillows. So yeah, I call this the hotel bed spread because it just reminds me so much of a hotel. Like you're gonna see the bed first. It's the main attraction. Like if your mom says, clean your room, we're not going anywhere, spread that bed first because I promise it's already gonna make a 55, 60, 80% big difference in your room already. When I do a deep clean, spraying and soaking down all the surfaces is very important to me because there's a lot of stuff, you know, I'm using the nightstand every day, I'm using the vanity every day, I'm touching things every day. So I really like to make sure I get a good clean on all the surfaces. So what I do is I go around to my vanity, my nightstand, um, my jewelry top where I keep my PS4 and I just remove everything off of them, spray it down with some bleach and I let it soak um, for about five to 10 minutes before coming back around, wiping off the surfaces and replacing everything. You're gonna see that the starting of the nightstand and vanity actually ended up a little bit different. I am going for more of a minimalist look now. I don't really like a lot of things. My life is already filled with cluster. My brain is already filled with cluster. So I want my space to just be more calm. So I'm slowly getting rid of more things and moving things around. The main thing for my vanity during this deep clean was that when you close the mirrors, it actually has like a jewelry casing on the back and I am gonna get more into jewelry and I want it to be more accessible because as you can see, I have things on top of this jewelry stand right here. So it's a little bit hard for me to open it, close it with the PS4 on top of it. So I wanted to be able to keep my fan, but also keep um, some items on here, very minimal, but I wanted to be able to easily close and open the mirror um just to add more because i feel like when you close the mirror it adds more onto that minimalist look so i just wanted to be able to do that with ease so that's kind of the rearrangement um that i wanted to do uh for this vanity i wipe off all the surfaces and then i go ahead and use windex on the glass um 
both the glass table piece and the glass mirror from top to bottom and all three pieces. So I start by just cleaning up the ground by putting the clothes back where they need to go. And then I do the rug, dust off the rug, and then I do one big vacuum. As you can see, like I put the chair and everything on the bed. I don't want anything on the ground. Do a big vacuum and boom. Vacuuming is a key part to cleaning your room. Even if you just spread your bed, toss your clothes. And, um, and yeah, and don't do what I do and leave your closet open because it just adds to a mess if your closet's full like mine. So don't do that. this video and i hope you enjoyed the tips for cleaning and i hope you also cleaned your room while watching this video and if you didn't as soon as this video ends i want you to go ahead and clean your room comment down below if working in sections helps you to clean your room if you're new to my channel give this video a thumbs up comment down below because i love responding back to all my comments and give this video a big thumbs up and if you haven't already go check out some of my new videos and i'll see you guys for my next video deuces